Thousands of people still living in FEMA trailers from Hurricane Ida could soon be without a home if they choose not to pay rent starting March. WDSU investigative reporter Cassie Sherm is live in studio. Cassie, how will this affect the Lafouche and Terrebonne communities still picking up the pieces from Hurricane Ida? Well, Gina, Sella, more than 3,000 people are living in these FEMA trailers. That's only meant to be used for 18 months. The state just requested an extension to keep the trailers longer and FEMA accepted. But with that extension comes rent. And some families tell me this is just another blow. So all my life, I've been living here. Living in Homa, 60-year-old Phyllis Lavelle is no stranger to hurricanes. My motto was... Every time the bad weather was coming, I always cleaned all my house and prayed to God I could come home and go to bed, and it always worked. Then came Hurricane Ida, taking everything with it. This hurricane, you just like knew you wasn't going to survive it, so, and I lost everything. It was longer than that. It's not, yeah but it was bad around here. And now they don't have anything down there. Leaving this recent retiree, her daughter and two grandkids without a home and having to start over. Where do you start? Where do you even start? I don't know. They've been living in this FEMA temporary trailer home for the past nine months. These are designed to get them through the event, uh, but always we're aiming at getting at them getting back into a permanent housing solution post disaster. But once March 1st comes, Kurt Pickering with FEMA says they'll require rent or take back the trailer. I know that uh, doesn't sound very wonderful, um, but the, you know the, the system is in place and we're trying to treat everybody equally. The 18 month period is set by federal law. Two bathrooms in the bedroom. The rent is based on the Department of Federal Housing and Urban Development calculation for a community's fair market rates. In Terrebonne and Lafouche, that monthly rate would be $700 for a single bedroom, $890 for a two bedroom, and over $1,000 for a three bedroom. But residents do have at least one option. Um, occupants can appeal for lower rents based on their circumstances. Phyllis says this is leaving her with a hard decision for her family. So you can either get, say, keep the trailer or you can eat or, you know, live. I don't know. She's tried looking for affordable housing elsewhere while living on a fixed income, but hasn't had much luck. The rent and everything is so expensive, and I just don't know. The insurance for people who live down here is ridiculous. After Hurricane Ida hit, 3,812 households have lived in FEMA-provided units in the southeast Louisiana area. 557 have since moved out, leaving more than 3,000 still using them today. It's logistically difficult to move these units around, get them, get them in quickly. Um, they take a while. Uh, they're really not the best option. And that means that when they're being used, it's because everything else has been exhausted. Documents show FEMA pays around $43,000 to $91,000 for each trailer, counting on the size and type. Where do the trailers go? I always wondered this. They're recycled just the way my laptop is recycled every couple of years. Um, so they, they kind of go back into the, the ready bay. We call it housing stock. Uh, so they go back into housing stock and will be reassigned um, when they when they get beyond their useful life, then they're either sold off or or um, um, I don't want to say junked, um, but, uh, you know, gotten rid of. In some cases, FEMA has auctioned off the trailers after Hurricane Harvey hit Texas. Some of these types of trailers were auctioned off for close to $100 each. But at this time, they're not selling the trailers here in Louisiana. What are you going to do? I guess I, was, I don't know. I'm. I don't know. You just don't even know what to do. Now the six month extension for the FEMA trailers ends August 29th the next year and then all the trailers will be picked up by FEMA. But Pickering tells me the end goal is to get those families into permanent homes. Gina Sella. All right, Cassie, thank you so much. And the home of Terrebonne Housing Authority is still shut down from the storm, adding another challenge for residents. So if you are needing help, with housing, the nearest one is in Lafouche Parish. For more information on housing assistance, you can go to our website, WDSU.com. And now Florida.